Good morning. Happy Tales Tuesday. I've decided to play a little bit of music my my uh, pre-stream thing now. Just I found some that is just music in the background. So figured that might be nice, but yeah, it's Tales Tuesday, so we'll be playing another. We'll be playing more of a Tales game. In this case, it is going to be more of a Tales of Legendia's post game. Long ass, po long ass post game, and it's all like character quests of like unresolved character story arcs from the main story. Last one we did involved um, Moses and his golf Geet. Apparently, is like golf royalty or whatever. You know how it goes in base in anime. Basically, it's like oh, this animal's like the best animal, and yeah, they had some some story stuff, and that's all resolved now. But we're waiting on bated breath to see who's next. So we're going to be doing that. But before that begins, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Mr. Mustelid. Good morning, Orion. How are you lovely folks doing? But yeah, I'm, I'm still fundraising to help Hotchko get back on his feet. I have coffee link on my layout. I have a command for it. I have a bot sharing the coffee link as well. Any support to him is greatly appreciated. All right, let's cut this royalty-free crap. <laughs> I'll probably start playing it again pre-stream before um, tomorrow. But yeah, we're gonna be getting the, get the stream going. <sighs> let's get my controller all ready, and we'll be going. Beans, 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 birds. <laughs> Well, thank you. The tentacles are fun. I'm gonna mute up all the intro plays so I can eat my burrito. <laughs> I am back. But yeah, I'll, I'll say one thing about Legendia is like, I, I've literally just never seen anyone talk about this game, and I don't know why. I've had nothing but good times with it. There have been some slight um, problems I've had with it, but that's just down to it being an older game. And older JRPGs just having like no info slash like bad info on them, because <laughs> this is like a 2005 game. 
Oh yeah, we're doing we're doing Jay's story arc now. I, f oh, I forgot the Jay's our little uh, our little ninja friend here, and we're coming to the secret passage. I remember now. Hey, old man. Yo, old man. Hello. <laughs> Was like I am not identifying that with a response. You couldn't possibly be talking to me. Do you see any other old men here? <laughs> Norma, try to be a little more serious about this. I told you how dangerous ninjas are, didn't I? Oh yeah, like, there's ninjas coming to the legacy to cause some trouble, question mark? It sure makes life easy for the older kids when the littlest one takes care of everything. <laughs> you got that right. Actually, Shirley would be the youngest child. Really? Yeah, I guess he's right. Besides, I'm taller. <laughs> Really? Stand next to each other. It's too close to call. I think you're the same. It looks like Jay is just a hair bigger. See, some people have sense enough to tell. JJ, why do you sound so proud of yourself? <laughs> what is it? I wish I were as tall as you, Chloe. Personally, I'd be fine with being a little shorter. In other words, I'm just right. <laughs> hmm. You're supposed to agree. What was it you wanted again, Norma? <laughs> huh? We were talking about something? <laughs> you kept calling me, remember? Old man, old man. Oh, that? I just feel like saying it. Ow! You should have seen that coming. <laughs> As Jay said, if we're going up against ninjas, isn't this, going, this isn't going to be a walk in the park. Stay on your guard, everyone. And please, Moses, try not to get in the way. Why are you picking on me? Try to understand that much on your own. I don't have time to explain everything to you. Rude. My, those two are such good friends. I guess that's one way to put it. This may not be the best time to say this, but... This is kind of nice, you know? Being together with everyone, I feel warm inside. I can't help but smile. We fight to protect that. We won't let anyone use you as part of their ambition to hurt people. I feel safe with everyone around me like this. As long as we're with you, we'll make sure you stay that way. Sentinel, hurry up or we'll leave you behind. <laughs> I'm coming. Let's go. Right. Of Jay the youngest. Alright, so now we're going through an old dungeon again. Post game that has done this a lot, where it's like, oh hey, we're gonna have extra story stuff for some characters, and we're gonna pick an old location you went to during the story. I mean, it's smart. They don't have to make an entire another dungeon. And then they make some like harder versions of the enemies that were probably here before. That's just smart game dev. Can't really fault him for that. Brace yourselves. Uh, these fucking shield things suck ass. If get anti shield. These sh shield enemies suck ass, though. Don't take your eyes off him. Come back. 
are you looking at, huh? No way. If it gets any closer, follow them. Shield! This will be a great What are you trying to do? Here's it! Serving Phantom! Look at this! Silent Beam! Yeah, I might just try to avoid encounters here because those wounds. Remember them well. Those enemies fucking suck. That said, Jay's drip is on fucking point though. Like goddamn. <laughs> someone cast. Someone cast, someone cast while I'm covering cheese. <laughs> Hello, Hug Dispenser. How are you doing, dear? Um, I was thinking of having something like that as the stream title, but then I forgot. <laughs> because I think that uh, that's just kind of funny. Uh, yeah, well, Jay's great, but having Norma for the heal is nice. We're also just going to use Holy Bottles anyway, because the enemies here are just so far just the shield enemies, which sucks. <laughs> so. That's the least creepy thing about the avatar is the, the tentacle arms. Nice. Would the would the creepiest thing be like the the eyeball, or is it the chest seam, hiding hidden horrors? <laughs> oh, I I'd, I'd never actually use the holy bottle. Good morning, Hachiko. Welcome there, dear friend. Hope you are well. Nice. What you doing today? What, what, you know, whatever, whatever game. I'm not going into that. No problem. Alright. Treasure! Great. I don't think I've ever used a single one of those. <laughs> oh, the little ninjas aren't coming out to play with us. I was so looking forward to seeing them. Everything sounds like cake with G-Girls involved. <laughs> What's wrong, Jay? Your tummy hurt or something? <laughs> tummy ache survivor. Be careful. Huh? Who's there? Stand your guard. Here they come. No question about it. That's a ninja. So that's what they're like. Oh! Yum yum! This one looks kinda tough. Here you go! Shield! Shining Storm! Swallow Dance! Sword Brain Demon! Firestorm! Swallow Dance! Here you this! Don't take your eyes off it! Kill you! Shield! Shoot you! Go away! Then get him! Pow, 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 pow! Eagle if it gets any closer, swallow dance! Eagle rising! Final embrace! Got him. It'll be like this next time. Good job. Good job, Will. Swallow dance! Here, use this shield! Shoo, shoo! Eat this eagle rising! <laughs> that's sometimes, that's just how the battle sounds. <laughs> The Swallow Dance is easily one of Sentinel's best moves for just like stacking enemies together for the mages to hit. Ooh, that was a surprise. Please pay closer attention so that this doesn't happen again. Understand, Norma? You're supposed to say that to Red. Those moves, that style is. But if but it can't be. My team is being incredibly salty and like, yeah, that's, that sounds like a MOBA to me. Just, 
Like, like one person does, doesn't do good, and then they start yelling at everyone else on the team, and then they start throwing. He's probably peeved that they were using the same kind of moves he does. Welcome back, Hachiko. <laughs> Carry me. I'm not peeved! Uh-oh. That, that sounds like something someone that's peeved would say, Jay. How dare you compare my technique to that of people like them. Yep, he's peeved. <laughs> I am not. Then don't make such a fuss when you deny it. You're just begging for us to make fun of you. I'm always the one that needs carrying. Aren't you gonna say something? Why are you so upset? I'm not upset. What are you talking about? If you let little things get to you, you'll stay a little person. Ah, so that's why he never gets any taller. You should have you should have made a wish at the Star Festival. That's enough. Uh-oh, Jay's upset. For realsies. Let's scout out this place and go home. I'll carry you all with my old school jinx skills. If it bugs him, he should just say so. Imagine my main Warwick riding jinx piggyback now. <laughs> Look who's talking. I mean, well, anyway, I'm sure Jay has his reasons. Jay never says squat about himself. It's because Jay is also a ninja. Look at all the boxes they decided to throw here. Lemon gel! I'm sure I can make room for one of those. Matter of fact, we'll just... Yeah, I never played League of Legends. I played Smite, which is not much better. Abe's Wood. Alright. I don't need to hear about Abraham Lincoln. I live in I live in Springfield, Illinois. That's like the only thing people talk about is Abraham fucking Lincoln. I mean, I think Smite's a cool game, just because I like all like the the mythology and stuff. But it, but just the people, the dynamic of there being other people doesn't make it much fun. Because depending on what you're playing, you're either babysitting or you're just like playing with nobody. It seems like. Oh, big enemy! Oh. Someone cover me while I'm casting, jeez! Yeah. That's fair, I can respect that. Yeah, that's fair too. That's fair too. Like, like one of my one of my pals played Smite for a little bit, but then she stopped, and that's fine. I don't blame her for that one. And so for the longest time, it was just me playing it by myself, and I'd play as like the tanks basically, and it'd be basically like fucking babysitting, unpaid. So I was just like, eh, it's not very much fun. If I wanted to babysit unpaid, I would just be a real life babysitter. <laughs> Because at least kids aren't going to, like, yell and scream. Well, maybe they would. Anyway, yeah, unpaid babysitter, basically. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy playing the, the, the support characters. Like, Smite basically just has, like... Smite basically just had, like, tanks and as the supports. Um, well, last night it was, like, um... 51 on my way home from work, so I wasn't, that wasn't too bad. I had the window open, blasting the heater, you know, all that stuff. Uh-oh, puzzle time! Time to see if my brain is big. It's probably not that big. <laughs> I 
Okay, so we got one there. We got some blocks that need to push. This ought to be good. Hell yeah, hot coffee. I got me a cup of it myself. With, I mean, my little Keurig that I got for Christmas last year. Really nice to have. Hmm. Oh, nice. Good stuff. Hmm. I might actually need to use this block to get another block off there. first someone cover me while I'm making coffee jeans <laughs> someone cover me while I'm casting jeez oh, I can just push it off I don't know why I was trying to like do big brain math I'm gonna ignore these blocks for now because they seem like a red herring to make you think too hard because that's something that puzzles in this game try to do a lot, is like try to make you think too hard about a, an admittedly simple solution. And honestly, I can respect that, because, I mean, game, game dev's not an easy fucking thing to deal with on a good day. So I can respect them doing clever things to make the puzzle seem like it's more than what it actually is. Like one, like one of the simplest, yet most devious puzzles was last stream where like the puzzle was the, the main puzzle was you had to like like do a you had to like pull a block into place to push it and like for the entire game up to that point you mostly were just pushing blocks into place for these kind of puzzles so it was a, a, a clever little um, zinger there. All right, so we can get this block now. And we might be able to, we could, we, there's a chance we could, might be able to just cheese the puzzle anyway. Oh. Not, not that one. Okay, not quite. I don't have quite, I don't have the angle to cheese it. There have been some that I've been able to cheese like that, that were like, it's, that's like, obviously not the intended way to do the puzzle, but. Oh, wrong key again. Well, not key, but like. Alright, I have a feeling that wasn't the hard part of the puzzle. I have a feeling the hard part's meant to be uh, getting over there to that block. Hmm. So I guess we're gonna see if we can get, get over there, you know? I might also have to use these blocks to get that block over there. And of course the, the block pushing um, is not super responsive, so it's kind of like... <laughs> So for now, we're going to just line all these blocks up in case I need to use them to get one of those other ones. Let's see if I even can. Uh, doesn't really look like I can. I probably sh There's probably a block that was up here that I need to push into place, and I just didn't do that, so I might have to reset the puzzle. We'll find out. I have a feeling that that's probably what the case was, because I think I need five blocks and only have four. All 
I just gotta get this one out. Welcome back! Were you able to get some... Were you able to get some cover while you're making your coffee? Jeez. <laughs> Oh wait, I think I'm just a, a fucking fool because there's gonna be there's gonna be a block there too. So I might be all right. You're actually being covered. Oh, the be the beauties of being covered, I guess. All right, so yeah, I probably am gonna have to reset because I need five blocks and I only have four to actually get over to the other block there. Because you can't go diagonals. Yes, I know, Jay. What's wrong? I figured it out already. Shut up. We know. I'm 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 bad. Nice. All right, yeah, we're gonna reset it. And yep, there's a there's a. Uh, There's a block up here that I almost certainly need to uh, use to get these other ones out. Yeah, I, I realize my the error in my ways. Cause I can use this one. Hmm. Hmm. It's kind of a kind of a brain teaser here. Hmm. Hmm. Cause if I if, cause if I get that block. Wait, let me all visualize what I'm trying to think here. So if we get this block here, that's not gonna really do anything for me. I need to get this block probably here so I can more easily get things out. Maybe. Again, these two blocks over here just might somehow be a red herring, but I know I need five blocks. It's just a matter of how to get only how to get both of those blocks out. Because I still need, like... No, that doesn't do anything. I, I don't know if I've ever been able to use this to do anything. I don't know what it even does. <laughs> hmm... Hmm. Hmm, indeed. There's like, there's definitely a specific thing I have to do, I just don't know it at this very second. Any, there's no hidden blocks anywhere either, that I can tell. Oh wait, I think I I'm an I'm an idiot. I think I figured out what I gotta do. Hmm. Unless I'm mistaken. Yeah, I hmm. Hmm. I was thinking there was something to do with like, like pulling this block and then being like where this is so I could use that block to my advantage or something, but, hmm. See. Two. 
Because I have these, blo these blocks that are normally available, but I, I need a block from over there, like 100%. I just gotta figure out how to get it. <coughs> Excuse me. I I have a feeling it's probably something to do with pulling the block instead of pushing it like last time. So for now, we're gonna push this one down here and hmm I think I just figured it out maybe or maybe I'm just still just not figuring it out I'm just playing around I'm fooling Cause yeah, I can do I can do that and get there. <sighs> but that's as far as I can get these blocks. Hmm. Awesome. I think the, these puzzles are very green. It's just, I'm just trying to figure out how to get these blocks out of this corner with just this block available. Well, I got this one too, but I can't really figure out a good way to get it where I need it to be. Because if I push this block down to get to get the other blocks available, I'm not going to be able to actually get back get it back up here. And I thought these two blocks might just be like a distraction, because this game has done puzzles like that. But I need like one, two, three, four, five to actually get to here. And I, I would otherwise only have four blocks. So I've been trying to do these without looking up the solution, because that's just more fun. But hmm. If I push this one all the way down here. You can you can. You can't you can, you can have blocks on top of each other, but I don't know how useful that's gonna be. Oh, there's no shame, but I just like doing puzzles without looking up the solution if possible. There have been a few puzzles in my RPG tenure that I have had to look up because they're just too confusing. Like, there's one in Lufia 2 that's infamously, like, ridiculous. That, I was like, you know, we're just gonna look this up because it's called, it's called the world's most difficult puzzle on purpose. But, hmm. Because I know I have to get these blocks out of here, and that would probably sacrifice one of them. Or one of my blocks here to get one of these out. Hmm. Wait. I think he might have just given me a. F that might that might actually be the solution. Uh, you mentioned it. I might just have to stack these on like this and now the question is can I move the bottom block still no <laughs> they thought that far ahead to make it we can't move the bottom block oh shit fucking mid-roll ads Sorry about that. I don't know if I even have many of those settings turned on. The thing is, I could... I might as well just show this. Well, I didn't mean to push it that way. 
But the result of me pushing it that way is that putting it, I was gonna push it like where I'm looking at is that doesn't really seem to do much for me. It doesn't seem like so. I've been trying to get it there. But now I push it down here, so I'm probably gonna have to reset, but we'll just kinda play along with it anyway. <clears throat> Actually, wait. Wait. Hmm. I have an idea. Brainwave. And, it, and it, it's thanks to something Musty said. With like stacking blocks on top of each other. I don't know if that's gonna help, but I was like, hmm, I could get a block up here. Or at the very least, at least I can get this one off and I can use that one that's over there. And now we can get that block over there, but that one's already up there, so we can just pull it across wherever I need it. Come on, the the, sensi the sensitivity for the block block grabbing is a little bad. <laughs> I'll say that much. It's a little hard to grab the blocks sometimes. Yeah, that's like that's like my the worst thing is like if I'm like raiding into stuff if I'm like going to go raid into someone I just click on their channel it's like I load in I get like like a whole like solid minute and like some change of like just fucking ads I'm just like oh god I'm sorry <clears throat> it's like why it's like it feels like you're being punished for like raiding people it seems like. I oh, know that might just be silly to sounding to say, but like it's like it's like just never ending ads. <clears throat> Alright, so my idea that I had since Musty was like, oh what if you just um <clears throat> I might have to push this block closer. Or pull it, pull it, just pull it up top here. Yeah. Like, I've seen a lot of people talking about, um... About YouTube, and... It seems like YouTube doesn't have a very good, like... Doesn't really, doesn't really facilitate streaming very well. So that's unfortunate. Yeah. Alright, now the power of having slightly more brain and that little bit of a brain wave I can get the other blocks yeah the perspective of this does make it feel like a little bit of an ant it's kind of funny <clears throat> all right so we're gonna just grab these blocks Yeah, it's a little more annoying to, to archive stuff when you're not using YouTube. Because Twitch doesn't keep it, but if it, if you're just streaming to YouTube anyway, you probably just there's probably a button that you can select to just do it or it probably just does it automatically. Which is which either way is way better than what Twitch does. It just sucks is like any like viable alternative to um to either has pretty much died out. 
because of either, you know. So that, getting, hitting the switch was the easy part of the, the hardest part was figuring out, oh wait, yeah, we can, we can totally stack blocks on each other and it actually does matter. Because I've, I've literally never used that, that part of puzzle solving in this game for anything. Like, I've never had to stack a block on top of another one. So that was a very, very good insight, Musty. Thank you. <laughs> because I, I would have just been, I would have just been slamming my brain against this for like the next like 20, 30 minutes because I'm stubborn. It's not, it's not really pride so much as I'm fucking stubborn. <laughs> Marty, you're not thinking fourth dimensionally. <laughs> Damn right. I don't got enough... I, I, I don't got enough brain for that. I'm all, I'm probably autistic. There's no brain there. There's just screaming. <laughs> now, it's very unlikely I'm going to mess this one up, but I wouldn't put it past me either. Because at this point, I'm home free, quote unquote. It's just te it's just kind of annoying to get all the blocks where they need to go. Yeah, my 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 other big concern was getting that one block that's in front of the little portal thing off of the off of its little perch there. Talking about it like it's a fucking bird. It's just sitting there, squawking, shitting. Wait, I had the right idea, just wrong execution. Come on, grab the fucking block sentinel. Thank you. Grab the fucking block sentinel. Honestly, that's the hardest part of this block puzzle is that grabbing the blocks is fucking not consistent. <laughs> Admittedly not a um, great <laughs> thing when playing a game where you need where you solve puzzles with block puzzles, you know. Alright, well now we can push this block down and then we can just move stuff back where it needs to go and then now we're actually home free. Grab grab the fucking block sentinel. It just seems like a thing with these, like, this era of games where you can either grab, grab the locks or you just can't. <laughs> There's, like, no in-between, really. Alright, now we're free. Thanks again, Musty, for using that big-ass brain of yours to help me have a big-ass brain. <laughs> They're bracing, they better raise some fucking ninjas over here now. There's a nice save point, which all I appreciate. I turn the second I turn on the holy bottle, it's like, oh, here's an encounter. Yeah, someone come from you I'm casting jeez. Yeah, these these enemies called Are are basically like spellcasters and they fucking suck. Shiny 
I'm gonna beat the shit out of it. Kill the nerd! That damn shield keeps making Norma say this line. <laughs> Get the fuck over here, shield! Thanks for the hydrate, your dad the squid. Hope you're doing well today. Sorry, I forgot to go easy on you. All I got right now is some coffee, so hopefully that's good enough. Ah, delicious bean juice. Be bean juice for the bean god. <laughs> Space bean juice. Yeah, exactly. Space bean juice. Freshly squeezed. So now we're back at the old village of the otter people. I guess is where the ninjas are hanging out. There's no one here at all. Did they run away or what? No, they're here. Well, well. I'm impressed you could detect my presence. Yeah, there's otter people. They're called the Orosaur, and you should definitely look them up, because I don't know if we're going to see any of them this stream. They sometimes turn up in post-game just hanging out, which is cool. I've been here for 20 seconds. I've already lost track. Well, that's fair. This is like post-game stuff, so there's just, like, stuff happening from tying up loose ends from the main story. What was that supposed to mean? You're coming here was all part of my plan. By the looks of your faces, I presume not a single one of you fools realized it. Leaking information to where to speak in was a surefire way to draw you here. I knew you'd come and investigate once my information reached you. So you're saying you leaked information on purpose? Of course. If I hadn't, there's no way you would have ever found my trail. Oh yeah? What makes you so sure about that? simple. You're incompetent. Hey, who are you calling incompetent? <laughs> For a ninja, you certainly talk a lot. It doesn't matter how much I tell you. You will all die soon enough. Oh yeah? Bring it on. If you excuse me, I'll be taking the Radiant Girl now. I told you, didn't I? Everything was going according to my plan. What, did you think I don't know? Ooh, it's a bug. Thrash them within an inch of their lives. Look at him go. It's gonna fart on me, isn't it? Bug boss, bug boss, bug boss. It's like a recolor boss. Brace yourselves. Here, use this. Okay, what's Belladonna? Probably something, oh, definitely something we're killing first. These enemies fucking suck. I got him. Oh, yeah, it farted. <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, the enemy that I basically unloaded a lot of my my TP on casts big spells. Yeah, that enemy just farted on me. It's gonna do it again, too. What's 
Small it. dance. Eat this. Dark force. Here, use this. Sword rain demon. Eat this. Small dance. Recover. Sword rain. Punch, 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 punch. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's a lot of the boss fights. Is a lot of the ones in the post game are just HP sponges. So you just gotta wail on them until they die. And a lot of them like to block too, so you just gotta have to wail, wail on them until like you guard break them or like you get a spell on them. So we're just beating this bug to death in the corner, basically. It's not very interesting, but we are winning the boss fight. <laughs> Alright, well we won. It wasn't very exciting, but we won. You know what, Norma? I agree. That was very easy. Hmm. Hey, he's running away. Leave it to me. Jay, wait, it's dangerous to go alone. Let's follow him. See, Jay is also a ninja, and I have a f Take this! Take this! <laughs> Swallow dance! <laughs> <laughs> Swallow dance. <laughs> I'm aware of how ridiculous the game sounds when you're just like fighting. Gets absolutely obliterated. <laughs> My intel didn't tell me about this. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Hands you an orasaurin. <laughs> Hands you an otter. 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 I'll take all the Orasaur. Me too. They're very cute. And I can't believe people don't talk about them more because they're just like little round little dude, little guys. Uh, I don't know which way I'm actually. Well, not that way. That's blocked, apparently. Yeah, I'm not really interested in any of the treasure. Because most of it's just like items I'm already full on. <laughs> Freddy Hurst told you to. Tried to convince you to not leave Florida by telling you it was legal to have a pet otter. Tempting, but you know. This one looks kind of tough. Watch out! It's still a monster. Anti shield. Dark force. Dark force. Flame blade. Little squid enemies are very small. <laughs> the the little squid enemies are really small, so I have to like hold down on the the D pad the D pad and kick them in the freaking face because <laughs> of just how tiny they are. I said I wasn't gonna open any treasure, but like it's literally right there, so I figured might as well. I mean, it's also illegal to have a pet otter anywhere if you just don't tell people you have a pet otter, you know? Just don't get in trouble, and then you're definitely in trouble. It, 
It's li anything's legal till you get caught, you know. Well, then definitely don't do that. Like, this one looks kind of tough. Oh, so look at all these swords! Otters are extremely cute. Every drop of sweat in training is one less drop of blood in battle. Yeah, but push-ups? Oh, Moses must have got to level 60, because he's got a new title on... They they've gotten titles for for all the for those kind of levels. Yep, level sixty. Garoon and Shirley will be the next ones up to hit level sixty. Which is honestly a little silly. That my levels are getting that high. Holy battle! Otters are very cute, so I can understand the desire to have one. But they're also just like wild animals that aren't really suited for human cohabitation. And yeah, it probably is bad for the populations. He ain't here either? Where the heck did he run off to? Jay's usually calm and rational. This isn't like him. We'd better find him quickly. It's, it's kind of like how with pet foxes, like, some of them are bred for like cohabitation or whatever with you know humans but like in general they're a very high maintenance animal that will quickly um burn through your patience and resources i would imagine N no you yep i had a feeling it was this guy it's wonderful to see you again jay my dear apprentice i f i thought that's who this was solon why why are you here or maybe is it solon like colon <laughs> Or is it so lone? Or I don't know. Solon sounds funnier. I see you're thrilled to see me as well. This can't be. What? Why are you? This is Jay's abuser. No, no. Relax, old friend. Call me master in that cute little voice of yours, just like you did back then. Oh, gross. <laughs> An influencer with the fennec, and they are definitely animals with specific needs. Oh, are you going somewhere? You're not going to stop and chat with your dear master. I, I, I'm not like that anymore. Who gave you permission to run? Please spare me such a pathetic sight. You know how much I hate ugly things. When I see something ugly, I simply must destroy it. Ah, ah. You can stay right there. I have something to talk to you about. No, I'm no longer. Shut up and listen. Rude. I want you to help me with my job, that's all. Now, that's a simple request, isn't it? You don't have any reason to refuse, do you? Hmm? N no I... You love me, don't you? No. Who gave you permission to talk back? <coughs> yeah, this is abuse. <laughs> you don't want to feel any more pain, do you? It's incredibly hard on me too, you know. Yeah, they—they, they, th this character is very abuse coded. No matter what you do to me, I won't help you. That's not what I want to hear. <coughs> my fist hurts now. You made my fist hurt. No matter what you do, no matter what you say, I'll never help you. How nostalgic! I remember all the fun times we had training together. I will not help you. Oh dear, now this is a bother. In fact, I'm so upset I think I'm going to start talking to myself. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <clears throat> it's simply me talking to myself, so you need not worry about it. Nora Soren, was it? They're such a charming and friendly bunch. 
Don't you fucking do anything. How, how do you know about... Oh, no. He knows... He found Jay's weak point. Because Jay is, like, best friends with the Orasaurin. I wonder what color their blood is. I wonder what it sounds like when they cry out, you motherfucker. S stop. Leave the Orasaurin alone. I'm getting excited just thinking about it. Little otters running in panic, screaming and crying, begging for their lives as they die. I'm sure it'll be a marvelous sight. Jesus Christ. What a bastard. Damn you. Damn you. Alright, well, I, fi I think I figured out how they're going to convince Jay to help them. <laughs> I should have seen it coming, but now bad things are going to happen to the good... Well, you might get to see Nora Soren after all. Because, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> The the, 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 a finger on the monkey's paw curls. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this stream to need a freaking trigger warning for abuse. Holy shit. It's funny because, like, like especially Norma calls Will there an old man, but he's like 28. <laughs> he's definitely the oldest in the party, other than uh, Groon. Oh, Skit! These are rare, <laughs> few and far between in this game. What's the matter, Teach? My muscles don't seem to be growing like they used to. <clears throat> well, duh. What do you expect? What do you mean? It's old age. Ow! <laughs> he does that to people though like if they're being ridiculous he'll just bonk them on the fucking head all right well pineapple gel can't carry another one let's change that uh let's see that's tp there you go there you go enjoy just shove a pineapple gelatin in your mouth nom, 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 nom. This, this is an ominously placed save point. I'm sure it's probably the same save point it was in the main story when I came here, but like... Oh, maybe not. Awesome! Good job! It's you! Thank you for showing me the way to the other day. It's good to see you again as well, my dear Radiant. You know each other? Not by choice. Oh my, that's not very nice. I was happy to meet you, you know. And I'm excited to see you again now. Enough talk, Gramps. Bring it on. I'm afraid I prefer to avoid pointless combat, although I suppose a barbarian like you might find that hard to understand. What did you say? So, you're after Shirley. What country hired you? Do you actually think I would answer such a foolish question? Not really, but you seem to enjoy talking. It doesn't really matter what country, does it? The country that obtains her will rule supreme. The power of the legacy will ensure that in both war and diplomacy, even the strongest demands of those who control it will be followed quite strictly. I won't allow the legacy to be used in your stupid fights. Stupid? They're not stupid in the least! The might of this ship is enough to change the balance of power between nations. Only a fool would choose not to use a, make use of something this wonderful. You're the only fool here. Your country wants it too, you know, Miss Chloe Valens. I have looked into all of you quite thoroughly. You shouldn't act so surprised at every little thing. The expressions on your faces are so ridiculous, it makes my stomach turn. You just said Chloe's country too. Do you have more than you do you have more than one employer? Anyone to whom I offer it will simply jump at the chance. It doesn't make any difference to me where this ship winds up, as long as I get to enjoy myself. I'm always up for having fun too, but you and me got real different ideas of fun. The legacy is an enjoyable place. It quenches my thirst. Slightly all the countries in the mainland have become too peaceful. 
The only thing that makes you feel alive is a battlefield flowing with blood. This guy is missing a few screws. I'm going to bring such excitement to this place. I shall thrust this boring world into a glorious stage. Resplendent in war. For all to see. That's a tough word. Like hell you will. Where did he go? Struggle as much as you like. Put on a good show for me. <laughs> Where are you? Get out of Get out here. Alright, Jay. Stop getting weak at the knees. Then again, his abu that was just his abuser. I'm fine. I suddenly feel we felt weak. I can't sense him anymore. You can relax now. JJ, are you really okay? It's not normal to just collapse like that. You look pale as well. Let's head back. We should take Jay to his home. Let's go to the Laura Soren, but we get to see them! Maybe. Again? A fool is still entombed in death's chill grasp and bent by his teeth of lightning! Alright, let's go! Icicle Rose! Shining Storm! What are you up to? Sovereign! Firestorm! Take him down! Got it! Don't you take your eyes off this! Anti shield! I'm not gonna let him do that! Yeah, these uh, these tiny enemies are are a pain to hit. Anti shield. Flame blades. Shining storm rising. Thunder arrows. Ram strike. Shining storm rising. Thunderblade! Like most most uh, arts or eris or whatever don't really hit them very well to for spells. Went tolerably well. Oh, thanks. Push ups. Because he, they're just so tiny. Another holy ball. I just don't want to fight any of the stuff in there. Not they're not hard, they're just really obnoxious. Like they're hard to hit and they'll just like fly around the screen. It's just kind of a pain. I mean I'm freaking level 60 for for fuck's sakes. I shouldn't be having too many more problems of actually difficult enemies. Alright. Finally got out of the shitty cave, at least. Wee! Oh, there are enemies here. I didn't think there were because, well... I just hadn't gotten on the counter this yet. This one looks kind of tough. Slow down. Dummy. You're going down. Dark force. Talent strike. I'm really trying to get over there, but there's not any. There's not really a good way to. New moon rising. I say as I get by, I'm pretty handily. Look at this plant twink. Plant twink destroyed. Final embrace. Got knocked on my ass. First aid. Firestorm. If it gets any closer, eagle rising. Shield. That went tolerably well. Thanks. Is he meditating? I don't know, is he?
Full heal and a save. That's that's polite of them. Damn it! I was almost free. feel like it. Excuse me, what? Or I went the wrong way and I have to go oh, nah. and there's no like escape spell in this game so I have to go all the way back through where I just went. It seems like. Well, that's fun! Way to extend the playtime, I guess? Question mark? I don't know. I don't really like how there's not like a spell or something to get out of dungeons in this game. We're running from this shit. It's annoying. Ooh, guard break. Ah, uh, no, actually, we'll, 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 we'll just fight it. If it's just these... If it's just these two, I'll fight them, because they're not really hard. Because I can get around- I've got a better way of getting around this guy now. All right. What title did I just earned? For Seno. <laughs> hmm. I I feel I know what it's about. I was gonna run away and then I decided not to, so that's probably why I got indecisive. <laughs> Rude. I just changed my mind. That group's not bad. Sorry, I forgot to go easy on you. Oh, Grun reached level 60, at least. 
<laughs> 210k? I was wondering how much money I had, because, like, I just haven't, like, had to really spend money in a while. Alright, well, we're going back through this dungeon, I guess. Well, the synopsis didn't really update, but I guess we're going to go back. <laughs> Since that, that way forward back over there was blocked, we're going to go back this way, I guess. Uh, kind of annoying. I can understand reusing a location for another, like, story beat, but, like, having to go into the dungeon and then all the way back out is kind of an obnoxious. Especially without some sort of, like, escape or exit spell. You're going down. What are you looking at, huh? Dark Force! Worm Rush! Anti shield! Worm Rush! Here, use this! That interrupted the arrows! It's a damage race! Here, use this! That interrupted the What are you looking at, huh? Don't take your eyes off him! What are you up to? Worm Rush! Shut Tiger! Here, use this! What are you up to? Dark Force! Yeah, huh? First aid! Swallowed it! Thanks! Worm Rush! Here, use this! Worm Rush! Worm Rush! First aid! Worm Rush! What are you up to? Worm Rush! 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 Worm Alright, more. I don't have any sort of item that can let me just leave, do I? Didn't think so, but I thought I would check anyway. Because you know in some of the newer Tales of games, they have like I bottle items that let you like exit, exit dungeons and stuff like that, finally. But like in, in this, in the older games, nope. You're just, get, you gotta leave on your own. Fair enough, I guess, but like, it just adds playtime in not really fun way. Like I'm not doing anything like meaningful. Brace yourselves! Oh wow, there's like three of those enemies. Well, you're going down. Here, use this. Worm run. Meteors! And Norma, Norma continues a long-running tradition of a lot of mages in these games having silly weapons. Like, she has, like, a fucking bubble straw or some shit. Just kind of like how Genus and Symphonia had a kendama. I mean, it's not super weird, but, like, Archie in the first game had, like, a broom as her, like, her fighting weapon. 
I mean, she's a little witch, so I guess it makes sense, but, like, it's still, like, she's fighting with a fucking broom. <laughs> like, if she has to, like, hit something. I think that's everyone. That's, I think everyone's level 60 now, which is which is ludicrous. Yeah, everyone's level 60 now. That's absurd. <laughs> I'll say there's one thing about this game I dislike, and it's mostly just because of it's a, being an older design game. Is like me having to backtrack out of this fucking dungeon like this. It's obnoxious. Like it just adds playtime for the sake of adding playtime. It doesn't do anything like useful for the player that's just kind of padding I don't really appreciate it but what can you really do that's kind of that's kind of part of playing these old games like this is like dealing with old design philosophies that aren't exactly like always um, courteous of the player's time, I guess. Gabba, <laughs> hello, three Gs. How are you doing, friend? I hope it is. I hope it is well. Sorry, I forgot to go easy on you. Well, Subtle's level fucking sixty-two now. I think. <laughs> Just having to like crawl our asses out of this dungeon again. Hey, that's fair. <laughs> uh, we're doing alright. We're doing more character quest stuff with Jay this time, and we're getting our way out of this obnoxious dungeon. We're in, we're now back to the old Orasoran village, and I think we have we probably have to go to. Um, their little village is kind of cute. They got like little like clamshell designs everywhere. Now we gotta get out of this fucking secret passage, too. What? <laughs> I don't know if I understood what you're going for there. How slash does... <laughs> I might be just missing something in my infinite wisdom.
Oh, okay. I see. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say, surely there's something else you meant with that. Because you're usually pretty savvy with, like, how commands and stuff work for these kind of things. So I was just like, I must be missing something. Because I was expecting that to do something, but... Yeah, we're running away from these shields. Yeah, these shield enemies are the worst. Good morning, dear. I hope you are well this fine morning. Less than three. <laughs> less than three. Everyone's, everyone's favorite emoji, less than three. We are doing more post-game. Eh. Here, use this. Worm rush. Worm rush. I'll take a I'll take a guard break if I can get over here and beat this nerd up. Got him! Destroyed! We, we never lose! Woo! These enemy encounters are... tedious. Because there's so many of them. The encounter rate in this game is so high. Again, older style game with random encounters that's... just not designed in a way that appreciates the player's time very much. That's part of the old game thing, though. Alright, I was supposed to just leave. I hope Jay is alright. Yeah, he didn't look too good. We should let him get some rest when we get to the Orosaurin village. Okay, so that is where we're going. So we are going to get to see the Orosaurins. After I buy items, though, because I don't know what it's going to fucking throw me into when I get there. So we're going to go back to Weretus Beacon, which is the main town here. Go to the little item shop, stay at the end, you know, yada yada. Munch smunch, you know. So we'll repurchase all the items that we used up. We might not have had to purchase much, admittedly. Let's see. Probably just holy bottles, honestly, with how many I had to use to... Yeah, basically it's holy bottles. Fine by me, that's just a lot less money than I'll have to spend. Taking a drink of my coffee here. Ah, deli delicioso. Hundred gold. Apparently at some point I dropped frames. Thanks, Comcast. Love you for that. About as good of the internet as I can get in my area, and it's still not very good. Like it, it's all right, but it's unreliable, which it should not be the case when you're forced to have a service like this. You know, because there's not very many other things. In, there, there are other things in the area that are better, but I don't think I have access to them. Like there's a place that does fiber in town, but I don't know if I'm like in town enough. You know. All 
Okay, so it wants me to the Orsorn village, but I don't think this is the right one. This is the one I just left. No, I'm just definitely the right one, I guess. Uh oh. We might not be seeing very good times with the Orsorn, because that one ninja dude's like, I'm gonna kill one. It's like. Yo, Jay. What's his deal? I bet something happened with that guy before we got there. At any rate, let's go to his house and check on in on him. Oh my god, here is one! They're just little round dudes. I saw a scary person with a mask the other day. If you hurt them, I will cry. I've seen weird people wandering around the village. I'm a little worried. I don't know where- can't remember where Jay's house is. Probably not in here. It's probably their little storeroom. But they're just handsome little fellas. I found Peepo's poetry when I was organizing the storage. Uh-oh. Man, they're just little- they're just little- little round friends. It's probably this house. We're gonna save outside of here. We're just like a saving outside of here. What's wrong with Jay? He shut himself in his room as soon as he got back. He won't respond when we talk to him. Well, there was this creepy dude that was talking to himself. <laughs> Without a doubt, that man was Solon. Solon. Like, it's, it rhymes with colon. <laughs> Does Jay know him? Solon is the man who raised Jay. Oh boy, abusive flashback incoming. Jay told us about it before. His real parents abandoned him. Solon took Jay in as a baby and raised him as an assassin. Jay came to the legacy on a mission to assassinate someone, but the mission ended in failure. Solon brought a number of his men with him to the leg legacy, but a large force was waiting to catch him and wipe them out. Solon's group lost badly. It was a terrible battle, and many people lost their lives. Solon used Jay as a decoy and escaped. Doing the drunk shuffle. Or the damage shuffle. Hey, I have a rogue with that backstory. <laughs> nice. Jay coll collapsed outside our village, injured and exhausted. Alone. Hey, your rogue is also Jay now. You're welcome. Look at them. They're just so cute. One's got a little musketeer hat and everything. I love them. So you rescued him and wound up living together? Ta-da! <laughs> at first, he didn't speak at all. He showed little emotion and his expression never changed. That's abuse, baby! He never smiled. Yeah, well, he was still pretty unsociable when we first met him. As time went on, he gradually grew more cheerful. His face is so much brighter now. Especially when he's with you all. He smiles like he's really having fun. But, when we saw his face just now, it was as cold as ice. We don't want him to go back to how he was when we met him. We want him to smile. Meeting Solon again must have drudged up memories of his past. Jay was always frightened. Note to self, I up. Uh, um. I. <laughs> he was scared that Solon might come back to something. We'll protect Jay. We'll protect him from Solon. Yeah. We'll help too. We'll free Jay from Solon's curse for good. Looks like we get to kill a man. First things first, we gotta find the Solon guy. 
I'll see what information I can find out. I'm gonna check around too. We're counting on you, Scallop Brothers. Leave it to us! Oars! Oars! Alright, we got a basic idea of what's going on. Let's return to work speaking for now. Take care of Jay for us. They didn't say it! We'll protect Jay. We'll protect him from someone. Oars! There we go. Oars! They go, they go, oars, oars! <laughs> It was even cuter when they had like more voice lines in the main story, because some because they'd just say it and it'd be like, oh my god, my heart. <laughs> Ooh, treasure. I would say as like a I would say as like the as like a I wanna really say joke race, but like cutesy race, like as far as cutesy races go in the Tales of Games, these guys are like the most, like, de like reliable. <laughs> Scallops are with him, he'll be fine. But his expression was really dark. That wasn't like him at all. Yeah. Let's help wipe away Jay's fears. Are you hu are you hungry? How about some fresh scallops? We'd like to have dinner with you, Jay. We're waiting for you, Jay. Come on out if you get hungry, okay? Dinner tastes better when you eat it with others. <coughs> How many times do I have to say it before you understand? You're pathetic. Do not make me injure my hand. I, I'm sorry. Life isn't so forgiving that you can just apologize your way out of things. <coughs> Never show me such a pathetic sight. <coughs> You're still carrying this little bell? That's, I, I thought I told you to throw it away. But, but, this is a clue to finding my family. Yes, I'm well aware of that. I'm the one who found you, after all. So, that's why I... As long as you cling to garbage like this, you'll never grow strong. Please give it back. It's the only thing I have. Who gave you permission to express your opinion? I'm sorry. I'll get it right next time. Please forgive me. So, please, let me just have that bell. Just that bell. I'll hold on to it until your skills have matured. But, you object? N n no sir. I'm glad you finally understand. All you've got to do is obey me. There's no need for you to ever shake your head. For what I say is always correct. Yes, sir. Now, let us be certain about things. When you were on the verge of dying in the dirt, who went to the trouble of taking you in and raising you? You did, master. Correct. The train is if your life depended on it. Make yourself useful to me. After all, even if you did die, no one would shed a single tear. Yes, sir. An instrument of killing has no need for emotion. You and this dagger are one and the same. Shed your humanity and become as this instrument. Yes, sir. Good. Good. <laughs> what a nutcase. No wonder Jay's so fucked up. Even if I died, no one would shed a tear. Am I nothing more than an instrument of death? Or if the others would be sad if I died. Oh! Here comes the, the evil mist, waiting to jump into somebody's fucking insecurities. No one would miss you if you died. You're an instrument, a device, just a means to an end. You are not a person. But maybe the aura Soren. You aren't needed. No one needs you. Stop it, I don't want to listen to you. No one thinks of you as a person. You're just an instrument of death. No, I'm... I'm... No one would grieve if your life were to end, child. Should you cease to exist, it would not matter. You have no value. Even still, I... The Aura Soren, was it? They're such a charming and friendly bunch. Damn you. I wonder what color their blood is. I wonder what it sounds like when they cry out in pain. 
Damn you. I'm getting excited just thinking about it. Little Otter is running in panic, screaming and crying, begging for lives as they die. I'm sure it'll be a marvelous sight. <laughs> oh, poor Jay. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. What can I do? What am I supposed to do? Poor Jay. I didn't realize until this stream that he was fucking abused. <laughs> Coolidge, wake up. Let me sleep. Just a little longer. Wake up. Just a little longer. Fine, fine. Just a little, understand? Thanks, Shirley. Oh. That's it. Get up now. <laughs> Oh, it's you, Chloe. Well, excuse me for not being Shirley. I didn't mean it like... Spineless. Oh, that's a new one. Now that you're awake, get ready to go. Jay wants to talk to us about something. Apparently, he went to Reynard's house early this morning. He actually wakes up early, and like a certain spineless someone I know. <laughs> you sure are making a big deal about that. No, I'm not. Now let's, go get, let's get going. I'm not making a big deal about it. You're making a big deal about it. <laughs> uh, I was I was thinking I could just walk out of the house so I could drink take a drink of my coffee. Up. With any luck, we'll get finished with Jay's character quest today, and let's see. There's only a few more characters that we can do quests for at this point. There's Sennel, and then there's Shirley. And I'm suspecting that if, if Sennel even has one, because the whole main story kind of was his character quest, if you really think about it. Oh, there's Groon, too. I forgot. feel bad about that. Jay, are you feeling better? What are you talking about? Hate to say it, but we heard about Solon. The Scout Brothers told us. The Scout Brothers! Honestly, they just can't keep their mouths shut. There's no need to worry. I'm not Moses. I won't lose sight of myself. That's real convincing coming from someone who was holed up in his room all scared. I wasn't scared. I was just a little surprised. Yeah, okay. Sure. Whatever you say. <laughs> I'm going to ignore Moses' babbling and start the meeting. I want us to, to go eliminate Solon. I'm sure you do, but... When I'm fighting with the ninja, the one who strikes first wins. If we give him time to prepare, it'll just put us at that much of a disadvantage. Yeah, I'm sure that's true, but... It's dangerous to act defensively when facing a ninja. Listen, what I'm trying to say is... Where is it that we need to go? Thank you, that's Ergia Girl. That's what I've been trying to ask. Don't worry, I've already located him. Well, look at that. Ain't you all prepared? Guess you kept yourself busy while you are all scared up in your room. I told you I wasn't scared. What do, you do, what do we do about Shirley? Oh, yeah, she's the one he's after. I'll go with you. Yes, it would be safer to be together with us. I agree. It'll also be easier to get a grasp on the situation if she's near. Besides, everyone is doing all they can for Jay. I want to help, too. Are you okay with that, Sennel? Of course, it's her decision. Who wants a cat video? Um, well, let's see. Let's see what the- let's see what our cat video is about here. Oh my goodness. There they go. <laughs> they they just they, there they go they're just scooting hmm are you the only one here jay oh no i mean i was just about to go too well i don't even know where we're supposed to go because i was staring at the cat video <laughs>
<clears throat> I think we're full on all the healing items anyway, so we can just kind of... Distracted by cat. I'm very. It's very easy for me to be distracted, especially by cats, <laughs> because yeah, cl yes, climax bottles. <laughs> it's 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 what you get down at the cur the freaking corner store. It's it, they 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 stock it right next to the horny goat weed. <laughs> That's been like my favorite long running stupid joke for this whole fucking playthrough is like that's like the most uninten unintentionally hilariously poorly named thing I've ever seen. Wow, how'd you know where the ninjas were being all cooped up in a room like that? I possess certain brain power that you most certainly lack. Cats are bred to be distracting, that's fair. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? The ruins of Frozen Light is our next destination. Oh, well that helps. Ignored again. Drop a save out here since well, and so sometimes if you're in the, in the middle of a hard boss battle, you can't help but just climax. <laughs> God, it's so fucking unfortunate. I love it. All right, then let's go get that so so. Charge! Just to make sure by so so you're wearing a Solon? Of course! God, you sound awfully proud of it. What, does anyone have a better suggestion? As long as we can understand you, you can call him whatever you want. Great, now that's said, let's go, let's get going! Yeah! Charge! <laughs> Well, they're enthusiastic. Groon looks like she's having fun. If she's okay with it, then I suppose it's fine. We should get moving too. They share. They, they share one brain cell. They they might share half of one. What's up, Jay? Ah, I'm coming. I can't turn back now. Hurry up, Slowpoke, or we'll leave you here. Who are you calling slow? <laughs> Like, they might, in fact, share less than a brain cell. Oh, this fucking place. Cool place, but I imagine that there's, like, a puzzle or some crap I have to do again. Maybe not, no. Thankfully, the puzzles remain solved. So I should be able to just get through fairly scot-free. Unless there's some annoying enemies. Anti-shield! Oh yeah, there's annoying enemies the fucking shields. Sword and shield! Yeah, these shield enemies are obnoxious because they just kind of fly around the battlefield. There's not much you can really do about it, except for just chase them down. Ooh, we got, ooh, we got a bagel <laughs> for whatever that's worth. Delicious. Ooh, there's a skit. You've gotten pretty tough, Chloe. What's this about all of a sudden? I mean, you've gotten really strong, you know? That 
That's not exactly the sort of thing a woman wants to hear. I don't know how I should feel. What? Uh, nothing. Just talking to myself. Mm. Huh. <laughs> well, Chloe's a little awkward. That's okay. The no a normal response would probably be, oh, thanks. I feel stronger, too, or something, but nope. <laughs> oh, wait. I... I guess that's not the right way to fucking go. Wonderful. So maybe there's a puzzle here again. Well, this ought to be fun. Go. No. I'm not fighting these damn shields. Here, use this. Uh, well, actually, you have Norma. Oh, that reduces damage she takes by half. Never mind. I was gonna say, I was gonna give Norma, like, the. I'm sure I have, like, a white mist item for, like, running away. That's a. Um, magic mist. Yeah. So I can escape battles quicker. Because I do not want to deal with these shield enemies. They are obnoxious to fight. Like, it takes, like, a lot longer to fight them than it does to run away. And I don't really need the XP anymore, I don't feel like. You know, because I'm, like, level 61, 62, you know? It's a little absurd. But the encounter rate's still through the roof. <laughs> this one looks kind of tough. Eh, we'll fight the swords, I guess. Anti-shield! Eat this, 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 eat this. You brought this on yourself. The captions are like, has it, has it, has it, has it, has it. And when I was saying eat this, it's a little silly. Ooh. Oh, I might have needed some more stones for these uh, swords. Because it looks like uh, Will got a new spell unlocked. It's not spread. It was well, right? Could have swore it was well. Hmm. Huh. Oh wait, he unlocked extension, but I don't. He learned extension, but he hasn't unlocked the able to use it yet because I don't have enough base turtle or mandrake scroll uh, stones. It's another weird thing about this this game. It is it has the, a weird learning mechanic for the sp the arts or whatever. I'm not saying it's really good or bad. It's just weird. All right, well we got to the next area. This one looks kind of tough. Nah, there's only one shield. Well, I'll deal with it. Billy! Thanks for the help. First aid. Long run. Swallow that. Here, use this. 
Take your eyes off him. Here, use this. Shield. Here, use this. What are you looking at, huh? First aid. Firestorm. Here, use this. Tiger Tempest. Shield. Eagle right. A foolish soul who's oh, in death's chill grasp and rent by its teeth. You're right, Nate! Icicle Volt! Eat this. Swallow Dance! Dark Force! Demon Thang Blast! Anti Shield! I, I got it by its little. by going up like one of its little phalanges. <laughs> Fuck you, Shield. What are you like? Dark Force! Here, use this. Shield. They're they're just annoying to fight. Jimmy, that was so cool. Uh, yeah. That's like a minute. That's like a minute of my life. I'm never getting back to like extended because of fighting this fucking shield. Cause they just go flying all over the place like a fucking frisbee. It's probably not that way. Why not be this way either? Man, this thing's got muscle. Don't take your eyes off. It's as tough as it is strong. Shield! If that interrupted the air. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you looking at, huh? Thunder arrow! If it gets any closer. Flame blade! Time strike! What do you want to? Here, use this. What are you looking at? Don't make your phone interrupt the air. Here, use this. Swallow that. Demon Fang Blast. That interrupted the air. Twin Demon Fang. That interrupted the air. Sword Rain Tiger. Just one more shot. Uh oh. <laughs> That's how I feel fighting these fucking shields. <laughs> They're like the worst. Final embrace. That went tolerably. Welcome well. to Kura. Is he meditating? Ooh, Norma learned a new Eris scroll. Is she still just learning Eris freaking at level like 62? What the fuck, girl? Tractor beam! Can I use that? Oh, come on. Those are annoying stones to get, but tractor beam's so cool. Like, hands down, one of the just raddest spells ever in a JRPG is just... It just picks them up and then just drops them on their fucking head. It's not very complicated, but it's just kind of funny. Was these uh were these lemons or oh that one's a pineapple. That was a lemon. Alright, well, sorry. Rip. Meow. <laughs> And it's as tough as it is strong. Anti shield. <clears throat> Let's see. We're gonna turn. We're gonna turn some of these. Uh. Some of these weak ass spells off. 
I say as she doesn't have, I don't have the stones for like any of the other fucking spells that she would be able to use. So rolling stone, that's about B. Okay, those are the three best I have unlocked for her right now. Tombed in death, she'll grasp and red waves, teeth of light. Cheerleader oh, What are you looking at, huh? Look at this. Icicle Volt. Dancing Blade. Start ring Banjo. Swallow Dance. Rolling Stone. Dancing Blade. Here, use this. The casters in this game are weird, like... Like, Will is posed as, like, this geologist dude, but he's basically just, like, a mage cleric. He has healing and damage, which is fine, but his stuff is, like, all single target. Well, Norma is also a mage, but hurt, but any healing, any, like, healing she has is, uh, she has one healing spell, and it's, like, an AoE heal. She also is the only one that has a res, which is weird, but, like... I mean, it's not weird that she's the only one that has one, but it's weird that, like, she's not, like, a cleric, but she has the res. It's, like, it, it, it's not really weird so much as it's just interesting how they chose to do... I'm putting a damn bottle on. I'm tired of these enemies. <laughs> I'm tired of all these damn shields that they're just throwing at me lately. Because the shields are just annoying to chase down. They're annoying to, to, to fight and they're annoying to beat up. They probably don't even give that good of XP. That's a bunch of swords. We'll fight them. That's why I use stuff like. That's why I have my uh, Eris set up the way I do because both Solid Dance and uh, Talent and uh, Worm Rush or whatever it's called help group enemies up so that the mages can just blast them to fucking pieces with their AoE spells. So, it's not just me. Oh, we get another big, big brain puzzle. Let's see if my brain can handle this one. Because they've been like, oh, guess what? You got to think differently. All right, well. Well, that wasn't very hard there, but by now we know that the hardest part's not going to be actually, uh, yeah, I didn't think, I didn't think it was going to be that easy. And the hardest part's not going to be actually hitting the switches, it's very likely going to be, um, getting the blocks where I want them to go. I 
Then again, maybe this puzzle will just kind of click with me. Okay, I, I only need one block over here. Or do I? Hmm. I'm gonna need to be at least like right here to like get over to where I want to go. It's gonna make me make a decision without me really wanting to make a decision, I bet. Hmm. I have I have an idea though why I can avoid making that decision for as long as possible. I can just kick the can down the road, you know? Well firstly we're gonna do this, and we'll run around up top and see if I can. I can definitely hit this one. Alright, and then we'll go push that block further in so I can try to go and hit that other one. And it might be. And I might be trying to do an unintentional. Um, Yeah, I had a feeling that it was going to force me to do something like that. I think the angle is just, yeah, it's just slightly off, so I need to block, I need to block here. Thankfully, I'm I'm I, I am mentally prepared for this because of the last block puzzle being still very fresh in my mind. I say I say as I am don't feel prepared for this. <laughs> Actually, I think I figured it out what I need to do. I just gotta yeah, I just had to come in here and do it this way. Like, very carefully. Hmm. Am I, am I as, pre am I as prepared as I think I am? Hmm. Cause yeah, I need this block to be get over here. Cause it needs to be like right here so I can hit that switch. Hmm. Come on, grab grab the block sentinel. Thank you, buddy. Come on. I mean, what I could do is keep pushing it down this way. Using the blocks as kind of like 
a little platform. I'm just afraid I'll get this block in here somehow and then I'll be hosed. Um, hmm. So that may not be the way forward. All right, let's see. Block puzzle. Back at it. Um Come on. Grab the block. Thank you. <clears throat> let's pull the block there. I just realized I could probably make this a lot harder on myself than I need to. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know uh, what. I don't know anything. Because now I can't get to there, and I need to get to there to get around. Um. Hmm. I'll see if I can maybe cut corners somehow, but no, that's not how this game works with its block puzzles. So I think I was probably on the right track with pushing stuff this way. Yeah, that's probably the way I gotta do it. Actually, that's 100% the way I need to do it. I think I'm, it might have just clicked, maybe.
Yep, it just clicked. It just clicked. Sometimes it just things just come to you in a freaking fever dream. So now I can push this block down and use it to get to the other switch. I'm doing it. I'm feeling mighty. Okay, then I need to grab one of these blocks from down here and move it so I can then get across. Okay, grab the grab the damn block, Sentinel. Oh, there's also that one over there. But I don't think that's going to be as hard to get to. No, it's not going to be as hard to get to. Matter of fact, it might, it might not be hard at all to get to. I'm going to have to move this block first. And now just out of spite, since it took me so much long to get this block in a position, we're going to just use this block for it. <laughs> just out of spite. Sweet. Yeah, the, the block puzzles have never left, Nakura. Does this feel strange to anyone else? They sure don't seem to be guarding the place much. Perhaps they didn't expect us to come here. But like, once we arrive, shouldn't they have alerted each other? They may have something prepared. We should proceed with caution. Uh, JJ, this is where you're supposed to say, especially you, Moses. Uh-oh, something's up. Yo, Jay, that mouse up there and your are not running at full speed or what? I think you should worry about yourself before worrying about anyone else, Moses. And I think if you keep spacing out, you're going to trip yourself up. Don't be ridiculous. I don't make mistakes like that. I'm not you. Say that, say that again. We're in the middle of our enemy territory. Settle down. Is it just me or does JJ and Red's exchange seem kind of forced? <laughs> hmm. Something does sound off. Jay, let us know if there's something troubling you. There really isn't anything. I'm getting a little tired of y'all gang ganging up on me. Then how about you stop making that face like you gotta take a big crap? <laughs> Sander, watch your mouth. Huh? Did I say something weird? I, I, I shouldn't have to tell you. Oh well, it's Red. He can't help it. He's a wild man. I don't know what the heck you're going on about, but whatever. Jay may be useless, but I ain't. I'll take care of things. Don't get cocky. <laughs> wow, man! Oh, this place is cool. And it's not just because it's purple. down here nothing that's all radiated for a GPU you may be onto something oh there are enemies in here I was just kind of running around I don't want to deal with this fucking shit Okay. 
Like, this door feels like the way I'm supposed to go. Yep. There ain't nothing here. Is there any point in looking around this place? Did you find something? Surely, could you take a look at this? There's something written in Rolaris. I knew it. Senel! Ugh. Jay! What the hell are you doing? Solon! Splendid work, Jay. I should have expected no less from my dear apprentice. Jay, what do you think you're doing? Quit playing around. Does this look like he's playing to you? Look at the situ situation you're in. What else could it be besides pure betrayal? Are you stupid? Well, are you? That's enough. You and me, right now. It's the perfect cage for a wild beast, don't you think? Maybe I'll put up a booth and charge admission. I love it. I absolutely love it. <laughs> JJ, this can't be true, right? Answer me, you little brat. Beautiful. The look of disbelief on your faces is absolutely perfect. It's a work of art. I can barely contain myself. This is life's true joy. Jay, stop. Tell us what's going on. I think it's time we put an end to your chirping. Your naive cries are beginning to get on my nerves. The same trick again? How boring. I'm getting bored with your faces as well. You can play together in the pit of that thing's stomach. Farewell. Jay left the party. Sure to left the party. Wait. Oh, boss time. The Black Mist? Not now. Please don't let it turn into one of those round things. I thought I just told you not to do that. <laughs> let's see Let's see what sort of furry monstrosity this one becomes. Not that furries are monstrosities. I mean... I won't even let me use the items? That's fun. Oh, that's okay. Well... Is it gonna be big and round? Is it gonna be like a big lizard? Round lizard? This yes! Oh, no, it's like a... Okay. It's a, it's, it's a furry Dullahan. I'm into that. Like, I'll say one thing, the post game has like these like, these like monster, like round monster, like boss fusion things that are like some banger ass monster designs, like, like, no way in hell they, they want to be someone's fursona in another life, like, it's fucking ridiculously good. Alright, I'm gonna use a flare bottle on myself, and then you know what time it is. Well, it's not time to use a climax bottle. <laughs> flare bottle. Time to climax! Finally! <laughs> Welcome back to the tree. We're fighting a furry doll hand boss. I wish I could get a closer look at it, but it's like it's like just round and chunky. No, it, it, it doesn't have a head. Oh, jeez. Chloe just got smacked around. Uh, lemon gel. Chloe, go. Ooh, I'm a little, I'm a little fucked up now. I did. I've I've never really known what like mythology um, Dolahans were from, but I've been aware of their existence for 
a long time, and JRPGs have as well. A lot of older, a, a, a decent number of the older ones have them as just like monster types. Especially the uh, first, especially like the first, uh, the third Saga game especially has like a dedicated monster sprite for Dullahan's. It's pretty cool. Cure. Talent strike. Oh, time to pick up the big boy. Big boy swing. Bam! <laughs> Alright, that's a black field of effect. Which means I think it's a faux three charm. No, I need. I'll give that to myself. Flame blade. Firestorm. Swallow that. I should have seen that coming. I should have seen that coming. Recover. I should have seen that coming. Swallow dance. Rolling stone. First aid. Woo! Alright, Norma, I need you to, um, do revive now, because we're getting a little, a little beaten up. Oh, never mind, she, Chloe, Chloe dead! <laughs> Beyblade! <laughs> Alright, well, I guess life bottle Chloe, because she got sent to the fucking Shadow Realm. Oh, perfect perfect timing. Uh, we'll just use a Miracle Gel. No reason we can stingy with them, we can buy them. Like, they're a little pricey, but we don't really have anything else to spend money on at this point, so I might as well just use them to make battles a little smoother. Chloe keeps getting her shit smacked around by the big freaking ball attack these guys have. I don't know what it is, but they all, all the bosses like this have had this big orb attack that, that they do. Yeah, these enemies are also just HP sponge, like 146k is just ridiculous. Oh god. It decided, it decided to visit the back line. Alright, good one. Every drop of sweat in training is one less drop of blood in battle. Yeah, but push ups? Well, we won. Big and round destroyed. Damn it, how could I. How could I let this happen again? Don't destroy those fists. You'll need them to save Shirley. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. I wonder what's going on with Jay. I'll tell you what's going on. He's a traitor. 
I imagine he has a reason for doing this. Jay's face looked pretty sad. That idiot, I told him to tell us if something was eating him. He took it all on himself, and look what happened. Do we mean that little do we mean that little to Jay? Does all the time we spent together mean nothing to him? After all we've been through, does he still not trust us? Coolidge. Hell no, Jay's smiles were real. When he was with us, he'd laugh from the bottom of his heart. Yes, Jay has been growing more sociable every day. That's because he's been together with everyone, right? Yeah, that's right. JJ must have had some reason for what he's doing. Blackmail is what reason that is. Then it's settled. We're going to rescue Shirley and Jay no matter what. Yeah! <laughs> if we want to find where they're hiding, we're going to need information. Let's get the scallops to help. They're great at finding stuff out. Yeah, let's go to the Orsorn village. Charge! Coolidge, I won't let anyone use Shirley's power for evil. That will never happen again. We're going to rescue Shirley. You can count on it. Don't forget, we're all with you. Chloe, this sword exists for that purpose. Yeah, thanks, Chloe. God damn it! I gotta leave the dungeon now. <laughs> I mean, obviously, but like, it's just annoying that I have to like go all the way out of the dungeon now. There's no, like, escape spell or item to just, like, leave. You just kind of have to walk out. Gotta be my least favorite part about this game is that there's no, like, escape spell. These early Tales of games don't have anything like that, and it's frustrating. Because you just have to, like, spend time just leaving. You don't can't just, like, leave. You have to, like, spend time, like, walking out. Oh, here's the GPU again. <laughs> Some of the earlier games, like Tales, like Symphonia has a few dungeons where, like they they knew it was gonna be a chore walking through the whole dungeon again, so they just let you quick jump. This game rarely does that, and that's just slightly frustrating. It doesn't really make anything easy per se. It's just more convenient for the player to not have to fight shit. Anti shield. Walk, pe walk, peasant. <laughs> no. <laughs> also, the thing about this game, about, the thing about the story in general with, for this game is that, like, Shirley's basically um, the key to the 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 mega weapon. That is this ship that we're on. Like, this content that we're on is actually a ship. It's like a bunch of dirt on top of, like, a freaking, like, spaceship. And surely, just innately, like, her, like, bloodline, all that kind of stuff, just can innately control the ship. So she's just been, like, the target of, like, everyone that wants to do evil shit in the world. You know? You know how it goes. Character is like a freaking like biological like weapon kind of Okay. She's not the weapon herself, but she's like the key to activating it. And a lot of these games, if there's a character like that, they're usually the weapon themselves, but surely in and a, and a kind of a twist is not the weapon. She's just like the keys to the kingdom, literally. <laughs> I'm just running from her. I don't even care. We'll take them out in no time. Okay. I don't even care. Like I don't need the XP. Run away! Run away! Run away, run away, live to fight another day. Are you trying to say something? Day after day, we bravely run away. If you've got something to say to me, say it. <laughs> Norma, you little shit. 
Don't taunt me for avoiding bat. Okay, not that way. We gotta go further down. Also need to use another holy bottle. Holy bottle, you've been running through this dungeon again. Yep, that's it. We've been running through the dungeon again. Is this the way? I think we. I think we. We think we're finally fucking out. Thank God. <clears throat> this world world theme's a banger. It's just like kind of out of place for most of the tales of overworld themes. We still need more information. Let's return to the Orasoran village. Like it's kind of jazzy and different. Which is a lot of the music in this game. Like, it's not typical Tales of Fair. It's just a little different. And I, I, I certainly appreciate that, but it's like it caught me off guard initially. I was like, what the fuck is this music? Because I was not expecting just kind of like jazzy, kind of like ocean themed music. I mean, I should have. This whole game is ocean themed. We're on a boat in the middle of the ocean. Even if it looks like a. Like a, a landmass. It's it's a boat. <clears throat> Just in case any weirdness happens, we're gonna save before we go in here. Uh oh. That's ominous. There are no Orosaurin just hanging out. It's like a ghost town. That does not bode well. It's awfully, it's awful quiet. Maybe they're all asleep. Oh, I love naps. Awesome, wonderful insight, Grun. I've got a, f no, it's too quiet. At any rate, let's look for Cupo and his brothers. Got a feeling that Solon or whatever sent like his ninjas here to fight to fucking round up all the Orosaurin as like blackmail for Jay. Nope. Neither did I. My, that's strange. Where did the little scallops go? Hey, this is not good. What is it now? There was a letter left in the scallop's house. Come to their house, hurry. Wait, where'd, where'd Chloe go? Did she have to go to the bathroom or something? <laughs> or did she go on ahead to the scallop's house on her own? Just in a, in a, in a heated rage. Okay, I guess she actually did. I was like, wait, does she have to go to the bathroom or something? Here's the letter. Take a look. <clears throat> Please forgive Jay for what he's done. He only did it because he was being threatened. If he didn't help Solon, Solon said he would kill all the Orosaurin. Jay had no choice but to do it to protect us. We're going to stop Solon, even if it means losing our lives. So please forgive Jay. Jay needs you all. Please look after Jay for us. Y'all fuckers are too pure of a heart. They knew? I doubt Jay told them. They probably found out about it on their own. Why does everyone keep trying to do everything on their own? What about us? Are we that unreliable? <laughs> you can ask them to their faces, because we're going to find them no matter what. Anger. Angry wild man. I'll return to town and gather information. I'll go too. I'll get my boys to help. Thanks. That's not what you said before. I did what you asked. Now leave the Orosaurin alone. 
Hmm? I don't recall anyone making such a promise. Are you sure you weren't dreaming, perhaps? Shut up. <coughs> You'd best watch your mouth. I have a short temper. Surely you know that by now, hmm? You're nothing but scum. I just told you to watch your mouth. You're not very bright, are you, you ungrateful brat? Stop it, no! Uh-oh. That dude's got the, the mist in him now. Hmm? What's this? A leaf? Oh, I know. This is for the Star Festival. That's rather human behavior for an instrument of killing. Give it back. Let's see. What could be written on it? <laughs> <laughs> You're a comic genius. Are you trying to make me die laughing? Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> Shut up. This is too good. It's a masterpiece. You, Radiant, what do you think he wrote? Do you want to know? I know you do. Well then, I'll go and tell you. Are you ready for a good laugh? He says, I want a family. Who wants a family? You! <laughs> What's so funny? Why this, of course. It's very funny. It's absolutely hilarious. How could anyone not laugh at this? How could some how could something like you ever have a family? You're a murderer. Go to hell. If you want if you want it back, then go ahead. Take it from me. I want a family. You want a family, do you? A family? <laughs> What's wrong with that? What's so bad about that? You should know better than anyone. You're an instrument, a device, a machine, and machines do not do not have families. Is it really so wrong for me to want a family? Yes, it is. <laughs> Oh, Laura Soren have arrived. Look at them! They're so cute! It's about time you stopped laughing. Jay's family is right here. They're so cute! That's right, where is family? I can't get over how cute they are. And we won't forgive you for hurting one of our own. What are you three doing here? <clears throat> It's not just us. Every last door sword has come to rescue you, Jay. That's what family is all about. Oh, what a touching little group of otters. We've already taken care of the other ninjas. <laughs> Ninja f ninja battle! <laughs> Just having sla oh Jesus! Maybe they're a little stronger than I thought they were. You're awfully impudent for a bunch of otters. Attack! S get him! Slap him in the knees! Jay, surely run! Leave this to us. Take care of Jay. I have a feeling they're not going to survive the winter. I won't be made a fool by otters. Oh my god, that little head tilt. Rest in peace, young, young sirs. I can't just leave them. What can you do if you go back now? Can you fight? I can't stand, send in someone who will only be a burden. But I have to protect them. I have to. 
Get a hold of yourself. Surely you realize by now how strong the Ur Soren are. They may not be powerful warriors, but their hearts are very strong, much stronger than yours. I thought of myself as the guardian of the Ur Soren, but but maybe it was I who was being guarded, protected. They have the strength in their hearts to stand up to danger and protect what's important to them. The true strength to stand up to something, even if it means sacrifice. Your heart is very weak. But while your heart may be weak, you certainly have the strength to defeat your enemies. The strength to defeat enemies. That's something Nora Soren don't have. Nobody has everything. That's why we reach out to each other. That's why we work together and help each other. But I don't have anyone to reach out to. Do you really believe that? Have you ever thought about what everyone would think if they heard you say that? They've all been concerned about you. They've all reached out to you. Senel and Moses, too. They've all been worried about you. How can you just brush them aside and say something like that? But, but I... Trusting in people is very difficult. But you have to have courage and take the first step. You have to be honest about your feelings. You say you want people to reach out to you, but you don't want to get hurt. That's just selfish. Selfish? You might get hurt, but you have to have the courage to move forward. Because just wanting... Just waiting won't change anything. Before I understood that, I was a great burden to everyone. I stopped trusting the, the rareness. I stopped trusting Sinnel. I closed myself up in a shell. That's exactly why I understand everyone's feelings. You have to look forward. You have to look everyone in the eyes. You have to face them. I'm going back to the others. Because I need their help. Because we need everyone's help to save the Orosaurin. I... I... Decide for yourself. I want to protect the Orosaurin. That's true, like, not everyone is good at the same thing. That's why you need help. But <laughs> they're just little round guys, hanging out. Watching Young Jay. That's the weirdest sleeping sound I've ever heard. <laughs> Wait, what's going on there? What? <laughs> now, I need everyone. Now, I need everyone's help. Let's go back to the others. Okay. I have a feeling that those three otters are not gonna survive, unfortunately. Jay and Shirley are back. They're at the entrance to the village. All right, we'll be right there. Wake up, Norma. Wake up, Bubbles. Pants, riding low. Something is about to pop out. Ow, my nose! No fingers up the nose, no fingers. Zzz. Wake up! I had a dream about something popping out. This isn't the time, Norma. Get up! <laughs> Norma is now not now's not the time to be thirsty. <laughs> save so we don't have to I mean as great as it was all the scene stuff was I'd rather not have to see it again without my consent you know I'm trying to move forward oh the plan for today is um at around like 10 45 which is another like 50 or so minutes I'm either gonna end the stream when we end in um Jay's character story or if it's 10 45 because I need a little bit more time to do lunch stuff today Done otherwise. The, the, the post game is forever. <laughs> Surely, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. It seems they escaped from the Mirage Palace, so that's where you were.
Don't forget why we came back. Jay. I finally, I finally understand. The Orsoran were always helping me. They stayed by my side always, so I'd never be alone. When I came home late, they worried about me. They waited to eat until I got back. When I was injured, they treated me. When I got sick, they made me better. On cold nights, they would sleep together with me. They said it was fun being together with me. They called me, they called me family. The Orsoran are my family. They're the most important thing in the world to me. I don't want them to get hurt. I can't take losing anyone like that. I want to save them. But my strength alone isn't anywhere near enough. So, so, please help me. Please, give me the power to protect my family. Please, please help me. Bonk. Guys. Stop crying. You just said you want to protect someone, didn't you? <laughs> Senel. <clears throat> They're going to pay for making my little brother cry. Moses. I, I can't forgive anyone who makes my family cry. Congratulations. Now you've got a brother. Even if you hate him, he's not exactly my first choice. <laughs> Oh well, just put up with him for now. He's really a wonderful brother who cares for his siblings. I'll give you that much. He does care for his own. Let's go bring some serious pain down on the bastard who made my little brother cry. Sounds like a plan. Let's head for the Mirage Palace. Yeah, we're gonna take Solon down. Charge! Come on, people. At times like this, you're all supposed to join in. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess it wouldn't hurt every now and then. Alright, Senny. One, once more, please. <laughs> Let's go, everyone. Charge! You can just get a new brother later, it's okay. <laughs> Found family, that's a good thing, you just find more family. Oh, we get titles, yay, I didn't see what Moses was, but I saw Jay got crybaby. <laughs> that's fine. That is another one of my big favorite things about these Tales of Games, it's a lot of times it's about found family. Like all these fucking weirdos just kind of coming together to, to do good things for the world. And I can vibe with that. Like Senel, like Senel and uh, Shirley. Well, yeah, Shirley, Senel and Shirley are um, like childhood friends. But everyone else is just kind of like uh, not related, other than like coming together to do stuff. Yeah, I love Found Family. It's good shit. And almost every single Tales of game heavily leans on it. And I'm just like, damn you, game. I'm into that shit. <laughs> Okay, let's buy some items. One, 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 two, one, and then we need some holy bottles. Cause I've been I've been using holy bottles heavily to avoid encounters in these places. In these like post-game like versions of the dungeons have just obnoxious enemies. Uh, do we need? Okay, we don't need to heal, so perfect. Okay, we'll use the duct and see a uh, Mirage Palace, huh? All right, so we're gonna we're gonna have to look at the. M All right, so Mirage Palace, wherefore art thou, Mirage Palace? You're in the center there. Wait, no, you're down. You're way down there. Hmm. 
Actually, I think I remember how we get to the Mirage Palace. I think we have to take the train. That's like in here. Out the lighthouse, there's like a train. Because this game is like, kind of like, you know, medievally magic y kind of stuff, but then there's like future, like ancient future tech. Which is like gotta be one of my favorite fucking kind of like ideas for stuff. It's just like really old technology that's super fucking advanced. I love that, like, that shit just gets my motor running. And Tales of, the Tales of games love that shit, and I love them for it. Like, this game's got it. Like, freaking Symphonia has it. Like, just, it's a very common story theme that the games tend to have is, like, lost civilizations and stuff like that, and I love it. That's the kind of shit that keeps me going. It's time this... This, this is like the one actual town in this game, basically. Like, the actual only real town you can walk around and explore, and it's big. I don't, the only reason I know where I'm kind of going partially is because I've had to come to be in this town so fucking much <laughs> in this game. <clears throat> Alright, so there should be over here... No, oh, I think we have to go down first. Yes, yeah, Pookie Baby, I hear you. You don't need to sniff around the garbage can. There's no garbage for you to eat. Alright, fine. Keep your secrets. I think this is a little train to the... Uh... Yep, Mirage Palace. Meowm. <laughs> I've got a feeling we're gonna have we're gonna have some unsettling visions of of not alive otters, which is gonna make me sad. All right, uh, I guess we'll see what the enemies are like in here after I reorganize my party. Cause Moses is great, but Chloe's um better. Cause sword users are just good in these games. Most of the time, the sword user is like the main character. So this is another why, another reason why this game is just different. Is that like the main character is Sentinel, who uses like his fists to just beat the shit out of everything. And Chloe is like his uh, his quote unquote like lancer or whatever, and like kind of like story terms like of like character like archetypes and whatever. Brace yourselves. Oh, we, we get a penis robot. <laughs> I mean, it, like, it's not like called penis robot, but like, just look at it if you get a chance. <laughs> like, that's just. There's no way they they didn't know that's. Hmm. That's a very phallic robot, you know? Alright, these enemies seem to have the yellow fields of effect, so we'll equip the appropriate charm for that. Actually, let's make sure I didn't just, just accidentally equip something weird on Senol. Okay, just just making sure I didn't like accidentally unequip his like weapon because I was just pressing I was just pressing buttons. Oh, <laughs> volleyball time! All right, maybe I should turn off Will's um big ice element stuff. Since we're in a um, an area where those spells seem seem to um, be um, not very effective. So 
So we'll just have Flame Blade, Thunder Blade, and Ignition on right now. Oh. The Sentinel's weapon's also like ice or water or sea elemental, so I think I'm actually healing the enemy when I punch it. Don't yep. <laughs> indignation. Yep, me punching this enemy. You know what? We're just gonna finish the battle. And I'll just avoid the I'll just I'll just avoid battles. Yep, I'm just gonna not touch it. <laughs> Actually, I probably just need to equip a different weapon. Uh, Biometal's not that much. I mean, it's worse, but it's not elemental, so I can st I can beat their ass now. Shield. Sorry, I forgot to go easy on you. All right, we're gonna put on a holy bottle because I can see these. These enemies aren't like annoying, but they've got like an annoying uh, elemental resistance for my. Because Sinnoh's best weapon is a C elemental uh, fist weapon. And that's just obnoxious because I have to use like a worse weapon. And I really don't need the XP anyway, so I'm just gonna not fight them unless I have to. Oh no! I was afraid I'd see this. Oh no, they're badly hurt. Surely. Right. They didn't have to fight like this. There are times when you, when you have to get hurt to protect those you care about. That's how important you are to the Orosaurin, Jay. Don't you forget that. Now it's your turn, Jay. Yeah. Those scallops aren't getting up. Are they okay? I don't get it. I healed their wounds. Were we too late? No. They're asleep. Peck. Oh, they look so cute when they're asleep. I feel like petting them. They're just sleeping? They look like they're having pleasant dreams. They look like they don't have a care in the world. They're so cute. Yeah, they are. They sure are a carefree bunch. You're a fine one to talk, Moses. All right, JJ's back to normal. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is much better. Let's keep going. Okay, so they're not dead, they're just asleep. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, is this the one is this one of the dungeons with teleporters? I can't remember. Oh, well, that's a cool dragon. This is like big water dragon. Anti shield, worm run. Don't take your eyes off him. Dark force. Indignation. Cure! Don't 
take your eyes off it. Here, use this. Rolling stone! Serving phantom! Shield! What are you looking at, huh? Worm rod! Short rain alpha! Here, use this. Dark force! Fire tempest! First aid! What are you up to? The dra <laughs> dragon goes chomp, 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 chomp. We won. Oh boy, a magic lens. Surely, definitely, surely, definitely need that. I don't know if I've ever used any of those bottles. What? Oh, okay, that's a. That's a different, that's actually a different chest. Is this a different, different chest? Apparently it is. Huh. I don't know where this is sending me, so I'm gonna just kinda... Uh, alright. <laughs> Um, interesting. Can carry another pineapple, Joe? I'll be the judge of that. All right, so I have to teleport like twice to get kind of get somewhere else. Brace your... Oh, jeez! Can you stop? I'm trying to, I was trying to get around the dragon. It's like I punched this air ray down. Don't go Ow. Here, use this. Rude. Storm. Let my guard down. Cure. Swallow them. Short range demon. Worm rot. Here, use this. Worm rot. First aid. Dark force. Swallow them. What are you looking at, huh? Worm rot. Anti shield. Rolling stone. Rolling blade. Kablam! You call that? Uh... <laughs> she threw a little her she threw a little straw up in the air and it just didn't come back. <laughs> that's 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 brilliant. I love that. Sometimes things just don't go your way. <laughs> All right, so I need to activate this, like... Right, I've got a feeling those two just transport between each other. Oh, maybe not. Oh, sneaky. Fucking sneaky. They make it look, like, nearly the same. Oh, there's some more. They're just, are they just asleep? He's asleep. This one looks here. Oh, there's actually a ninja here. Shield. I mean, I guess that makes sense. What are you looking at, huh? Anti-shield! I'll kill you! 
Here, use this. Damn, I let my guard down. Did we get you away? First aid. Rolling stones. Worm run. Worm run. Worm run. Here, use this. Worm run. The real fight begins. Worm run. Cure. Rolling stones. Swallow them. Twenty fire attack. Worm run. Thunder blade. Worm run. Swallow them. This. Keep this, Force. keep this dragon's big ass all over the battlefield. Thunderblade. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be like this next time. Is this where I need to go? Or is this just like another weird room? It's like just a. I'm sure there's some story thing that happened in this room, but it's just empty now. So that doesn't seem to be the, that doesn't seem to be the place. Ninja destroyed. Putting up a fight. Nice. More level up, more stats, great. Hmm, maybe this isn't the right way. No, it's not. I have to. I. Hmm. No, it doesn't seem like this is the right way, so I'm going to teleport again and then look around, I suppose. Again, doing it, doing as little guide stuff as I need to do to actually play the games, because I enjoy it more if I'm able to figure it out on my own. But you know how it goes. Sometimes you just gotta bash your head against the wall a little bit until it works. Again? Destroyed him with the throw. That's very satisfying. Every drop of sweat and training is one less drop of blood in battle. Yeah, but push-ups. Sweet. Oh, hey, we got the pineapple gel that we used up back. I think. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're back here again. Is there something here, maybe? 
that I'm missing? I don't know. This Okay. And I'm just trying to figure out where I gotta go because the enemies here aren't hard, but as usually they're just a little tedious to deal with. Oh no, that's where I came from. Okay. Ooh. Maybe this one's the one I have to use. Hmm. Sneaky, sneaky, that whole thing I was just doing might have just been a, a, a waste of time. Yep, it was. Don't care about magic lens. Don't care about dark bottles either. Those increase the encounter rate, which is usually not what you want, because the encounter rate's already pretty damn high in this game. Brilliant vanguard of the heavens. Fly havoc and with your wrath, lead my enemies to their doom. No way. Indignation. Guardian. New Empire still up. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna meet up real fast and I'll use the bathroom. I'll be right back. All right, I have returned. Apparently the enemies have two. <laughs> They have returned!
It's cute. I guess it's alright. He's asleep. <laughs> They're all just asleep. Little, little darlings all got tuckered out from fighting the ninjas. Hopefully they're just asleep too. Cupo, hang on. Mmm, how strange. I can hear Jay's voice. Is it time for me to depart to the land of the scallops? No, we've come to save everyone. Oars! Oars! Ah! S stop staring. That was such a cute shriek you let out there. Your faces are both bright red. <laughs> they're, they're not. Sh shut up. <laughs> Cupo, are you alright? Jay, it really is you. Do I look like an illusion? You look good, Jay. Your eyes are strong. Those are the eyes of a true warrior. I owe it to you and your brothers. I finally opened my eyes. Or are Peepo and Pop Popo? They're acting as decoys for me. Just the two of them? Let's hurry. Solon is very dangerous right now. I feel a strange power from him. I noticed that too. His strength is inhuman. No matter how much we threw at him, he never got tired. And when he got injured, it healed up right away. That sounds like the Black Mist to me. The monsters with the Black Mist displayed the same trait. Yep. That might contain the secret to his power. Black Mist also came out of the monster so so called, at, called up at the ruins of frozen light. Solon couldn't be the source of the mist, could he? The monsters come from the mist? That'd be too simple if he was the source. Now's not the time to be chatting. We have to hurry to Peepo and Popo. <laughs> Their fucking names, too, are just cute. Be really careful, okay? Don't worry, everyone's with me. You're the only ones who we can count on now. Please defeat Sullen. That's why I came back. We're gonna take him down, no matter what. Oh god, there's more dungeon and there's more enemies! <laughs> this one looks... Skeleton Megant? Alright. I'll fight them just because I haven't seen them before. Hmm. I'm gonna replace Beast for, um... Okay, I can't set that thing now, but... There's there's a um, combination tech that I can have a set that lets me, like, pick up and throw these big motherfuckers, too. Anti-shield! These things got like 44k HP. They're just really thick for normal enemies. Eat this, eat this, eat this, eat this. We <laughs> won. Alright, so we're not gonna fight those anymore because they take a while, but I just was wanting to fight at least one like one cluster of them because I haven't seen them yet. Alright, 
I've literally never bought or used any of those bottles that I just got a, one of. Like, at all. Eh. That must not be the right way. Because those big, like, purple ball things usually block off either shortcuts or treasure, and I don't really care about either right now. Because if you get if you get an encounter inside of them, the enemy encounter is a lot usually a lot more annoying. This one looks strong. Sword. Rolling spread alpha. Sword rain omega. Flame blades. Okay. There's more of them, they should be fine. He's asleep. Yep, they're they're fine. They're just they're just resting. Oh, well. Oh, well, it looks like I accidentally had, I had to go this way anyway. An attack symbol, huh? What's that? I'm assuming it's like some sort of like a... Increased critical hit rate by 10%. Hmm. These, these foe charms, these field effect charms are usually what I go for. Because some enemies have a field effect thing that they summon that... Gives you like some shitty status. Oh, ghost dragons. As cool as those enemies are, we're just not, we don't got the time. We might have to fight this one. I don't know if we can just run away from these encounters. Oh, we can. I didn't expect them to put it like a required one you have to run through. They usually don't do that. Like, previously they haven't really made it to where you had to run through one of those to get to, like, actual important stuff. Like, there's usually been optional shit. Indignation. Okay. It's a lot faster for us to run from these than it is to actually fight them, because it probably takes at least like a minute. And that's a minute I don't really have. Not today, at least. Yeah, all that stuff down there was just optional stuff. Which is fine and all, like... But, you know... Oh boy, a puzzle! I'm definitely glad I'm running from the enemy counters, because... Puzzle! Oh boy, look at all these blocks! Alright, so we got... A mirror reflect there, and then one I have to, like, actually use there. Okay, so we gotta push... You off, at the very least. So we need to get at least one more block, and it's probably going to need to be, uh... Eh, well. We we'll have to use these two blocks to get this block. Just... 
just going to go out on a limb and say we got to do that so we can get access to this block down here as well. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta push this and then I gotta move this one around, I think, to get it somewhere else, maybe? Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm gonna. What do I? I'm I'm a fool. I just pushed the damn thing off. <laughs> I'm sitting here making it harder than it needs to be on myself. And then now with those blocks, we can get over here and get this block. If it'll let me grab the damn block. If it'll let me grab the damn block. If you'll let me grab the damn block. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so I need two down there to hit that um, thing. Can I go around this way? No, I'd have to go the long way around. And I'm and I might not. Oh, well, actually, I'm lose. I'm. Hmm. Yeah, we gotta we gotta we gotta get this block first. Before I do anything else. It looks like. fetch this block L let me let me push the block please game I, I would really appreciate being able to play the game <laughs> okay and then we'll pull that in place and then we'll push this one down And again, I don't know why I'm making this harder on myself. I can literally just push the damn block down like that. Matter of fact, I might have just soft locked myself pushing it down like that. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I soft locked myself, but I know what I'm doing now at least. I have to pull this block and get it away from here because this is a death trap. You know, my life is just blocks now, yep. I have, I have been sent to the block dimension for my crimes. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, these, these older JRPGs just love their block puzzles. Alright. So now I gotta get over here. So I can get that block. <clears throat> and then we can go get this other block over here by pulling it this time instead of pushing it like I did and getting soft locked. Pushing it down there, I can at least uh, uh, I can at least use it. Hmm. Actually, okay. I can't. I was gonna think I could just do that and make it really fast, but like it might not be as I might not be that simple. I want it to be that simple, but I don't think I can quite do it that way. <clears throat> I have to go around the other side anyway, so I think I'm just wasting time that I don't have. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, it looks like I'm just wasting time I don't have trying to do it that way, so we're gonna just uh, not do that. It might be the case of us, um... Uh, the time's a little, running a little short for what I wanted to do today, so I might have to just, like, do this puzzle next time. Maybe. We'll see. It might be faster for me to, if, since now I kind of have an idea what the puzzle does, I might, it might be faster for me to finish the puzzle and then go back to the save point and save, as opposed to what I was going to do. Depends on if I get sent like immediately into another uh, into a boss fight after I do this, because the game might do that to me. The game might might freaking do that to me. Okay, that can go there. That can go there. I'm gonna pull you down. That can go there, and that goes there. I can get now I can get to that block and I, I have to very carefully pull it not push it now I gotta collect these blocks and move them along with the the, the block on top Or I could just push the block down now that's in a safe location, because, well. Mm. Yeah, because now, now, now the blocks over here, I can maneuver them a lot easier and safely. So, I'll just push that down, and now I should be able to use that to get this block.
We'll just move this one out of the way for now so I can maneuver other blocks over here. Like, these are like ascended block puzzles. <laughs> Okay, that one's in position. Ah. I see my problem is I'm gonna have to do this, go about this a slightly different way. A little trickier than I thought it was gonna be getting these blocks in position because, yeah. Why wouldn't it be a slightly trickier situation? All right. Come on. Let me grab the damn block, please. Thank you. Again, that's probably like the worst part of these block puzzles is it's hard to grab the blocks sometimes. But I should be able to just push this one down. Maybe. If 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 it, if I will be if I'm allowed. <laughs> Okay, and then we can pull you down. Push you in, and I can go up there and hit that switch. Right, now I need to re-maneuver re the blocks again. I have to get over over there once again hardest part is actually grabbing the damn blocks which means that's something they probably should have um, focused more on in dev time is making sure that you can grab the damn blocks for the block puzzles that are everywhere in this game <laughs> Alright, so now I should be able to run over here. And now I gotta figure out how to get over there, which I have an idea. I, should, I might have enough blocks for it. And if not, then I'll have to figure out something else, because I don't see any other blocks lying around. So, now we gotta get all the blocks in this row right here. I have just enough blocks to do that, too. Oh, I don't want to get a, I can't get a block through there, so I have to go all the way around. <laughs> for all these, for the rest of these. At the very least, though, I can block off this little middle corridor here. Uh, actually, I, I need the middle corridor still for getting around, but... Once it's time to block it off, I'll happily block it off. Actually, I might not even need all the blocks for that. I might be able to just leave one of them there. Oh, no, never mind. I, I do need all of them. 
No, ignore, ignore me! Okay, so now we gotta get this one out of the little cubby hole I got stuck in. Alright, let's start pushing them all in place. They really love their fucking block puzzles, huh? And now I can just wiggle on through here and up and out. And let me guess they're gonna throw me into a boss fight immediately. No, but we're gonna go find the save point. We're gonna go back to find the save point. We don't we don't have to do the puzzle again, thank fucking god. That I'm a little over the time I wanted to do, so we're gonna head back to wherever the save point was. It's prob it's probably back through this whole entire area, but it's still gonna be faster than otherwise. Anti shield! Firestorm! Here, use this! Talent strike! First okay. Okay. Make sure I still got holy bottle on. Now I'll help at least slightly reduce the encounter rate. A little bummer we didn't get through Jay's entire story quest, but like it's just like it's a really long one. And I just have a little less time today, but that's okay. Not the end of the world. We'll finish off Jay's story quest next next week and we'll uh Yeah. Yeah. Words. <laughs> this one looks strong. Here, use this. What are you looking at, huh? Under arrow! First aid! Damn it! Worm rock! Here, use this! Okay. Yes, that mushroom does have a pipe. <laughs> Guys, it's one of my one of my favorite monster designs from this from uh Legendia's. Mushroom with a pipe in its mouth. Like, it's just ridiculous. Alright. Well, actually, the save point wasn't that far away, so that's good. We will pick up here next time. Alright. So that is going to be our streaming end today. Chest! Well, I might remember the chest next time. <laughs> but yep, that's going to be the stream end today. Thank y'all so much for... Oh my, I just realized my stream title is a fucking mess. I was really tired this morning, so it's like Minecraft, Tales of Legendia, Stream 12. I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with me? Anyway, we're in the stream. I'm gonna, I'll am gonna, i take a quick look and see if somebody's uh, streaming that I can raid into, and if not, then I'll be hopping off. Uh, hmm. Nah, I'm gonna call it there. Um, I'll see, if I, if I don't see you tomorrow for Breath of Fire, I'll see you next time. You have a wonderful day.